Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a nostalgic journey into the heart of German steam power, right back to the 1930s and the magnificent DRG Class 05. Now, this wasn't your average steam engine. This was Germany's great leap into the world of high-speed rail, built at a time when steam was being pushed to its absolute limits. Designed by Borsig in Berlin, only three of these streamliners ever rolled off the production line 05001, 05002, and the rather peculiar 05003, which I'll get to in a bit. The Class 05 was part of the Deutsche Reichsbahn's effort to keep steam relevant as diesel units like the Flying Hamburger started nipping at its heels. It was intended for express passenger services, top tier stuff. With a sleek, streamlined casing, it looked more like a futuristic spaceship than a steam locomotive. Under the hood, if you can call it that, it had a 4 6 4 wheel arrangement, three cylinders, and, initially, a 20-bar boiler pressure. That's serious power for the time. And this wasn't just for show. On the 11th of May, 1936, number 05002 absolutely thundered down the Berlin-Hamburg line at 200.4 km per hour. That's around 124.5 miles per hour, making it the fastest steam locomotive in the world at the time. A proper record breaker. It even managed an average of nearly 140 kilometers per hour over a stretch of 113 kilometers. Not bad for a machine still powered by fire and water. These locos were designed for prestige services like the Berlin Hamburg Express, but like many ambitious steam projects of the era, their time at the top was brief. As the Second World War loomed, their streamlined cladding was removed to make them easier to maintain they became more functional, less glamorous. Bit of a shame, really. Then there was 5003. Now this one was experimental. Cab forward design, coal dust firing, the works. It looked strange and drove even stranger. Drivers sat right up at the front, which was meant to give better visibility, but in practice, it was hot, noisy and awkward. The coal dust firing didn't help either, created slag clinkered up the firebox. Eventually, she was converted back to a conventional layout. Post-war, these locomotives were nearly scrapped, but in a rare moment of preservation-minded thinking, they were given a second chance. All three returned to service in the early 1950s, hauling express services once more. Trains like the Hanseat and the Domspatz at speeds up to 140 km per hour. But by 1958, their time was up. Enter the diesel hydraulic DB Class 5 200, a smart modern machine that rendered these giants obsolete overnight. Two of them were scrapped by 1960, but thankfully, one survived. And what a survivor it is! 05001, restored and preserved in all her streamlined glory, is proudly displayed at the Nuremberg Transport Museum. If you ever find yourself in Germany, she's well worth a visit. Standing before her, you really do get a sense of the ambition and engineering brilliance of the era. So, was the DRG Class 05 a success or a failure? I'd say both. Technically, they were cutting edge. They broke records, turned heads and flew the flag for steam well into the age of diesel. But they were also limited, too complex too expensive, too few in number. Yet they remain beloved among enthusiasts, and rightly so. There's something magical about these streamlined locomotives. They represent a time when railways were about more than just getting from A to B. They were symbols of speed, progress, even national pride. And here's something to ponder. What if the Germans had committed to producing more of them? Could steam have stuck around longer? Or was the writing already on the wall? Either way, the DRG Class 05 stands as a fascinating chapter in railway history. A machine built for the future, now preserved as a monument to the past. 
If you enjoyed this trip down the line, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. We've got plenty more railway tales coming your way, from British steam legends to forgotten diesel oddities. Until next time, cheers and happy train spotting.